Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to GeForce Now News Thursdays. If you're not already familiar, I do the GeForce Now News here every single Thursday morning the video comes out. I've been doing this since the service launched almost a year ago when it came out of beta and it's been a lot of fun to cover all the ups and downs of GeForce Now. Starting this year for 2021, they did announce in January that the new format is going to be that the first Thursday of every month we're going to get this whole list of all the expected games for the entire month. And then every Thursday after that in that month, we'll get the actual games that are coming out that week, any other features, highlights, and news for GeForce Now, and any other games that get added into the list that weren't there in the first Thursday. That's already happened plenty of times here in January where they had announced 23 games for January, but we've already blown that out of the water, and every week we've had games added that weren't even on that initial Thursday list. So it's really nice to see that. NVIDIA is doubling down on the GFN Thursday, on the GeForce Now Thursdays. Um, there's been a lot of traction behind it. There's a lot of channels like mine that do this now for GeForce Now News Thursday, and it's really cool to see them just kind of follow right in and have all of us continue that and expand it and get into it. The biggest reason for Thursdays is that's when a lot, of, a lot of major season updates come to a lot of the games, especially free to play games on GeForce Now. There's over 80 of those uh, now on the service. A lot of major titles like today's title, The Medium for Thursday, January 28th is gonna be released. And we're gonna talk about that more in this video as well. And uh, yeah, just a lot of nice day and date releases they keep getting and GeForce Now is plugging away and we're about to come up on that one year anniversary next week and you never know nvidia might have some interesting announcements we'll see what they uh what they put out for us next week now let's get on to geforce now for this week so no major news announcements features games added to highlights or any of that kind of thing but we have a decent list of eight games we've got some more day and date releases support from steam and epic and ubisoft alike and uh, a decent little list here uh for what geforce now has going for this week to wrap up the month uh it's been fantastic a ton of great games came to the service this month so i want to jump right into the list of eight games and then i want to spend a little bit more time on the medium the uh the bigger day and date release to come out for geforce now this week all right so that list is the medium from steam and epic game store this is also an xbox console exclusive Immortals Phoenix Rising demo. I believe this is going to be the demo that was on Stadia. I'll have to check it out to see. They had an exclusive uh, Stadia demo going. That's Ubisoft Connect and the Epic Game Store for that. Beholder for uh, Steam. Caves of Cud from Steam. Dyson Sphere program from Steam. Now, this game has been getting quite a bit of attention since its release last week. Uh, pretty cool to see that on there. The game runs great on GeForce. Now, I haven't done a video for it. I don't think a lot of people necessarily want to see that. See a video on that, but it does run great on the service. Kathy Rain is another one that's from Steam. That was announced in the beginning of the month. Neon Abyss from the Epic Game Store and Gods Will Fall launching Friday the 29th from Steam and the Epic Game Store. So those are the eight games we're getting this week for GeForce Now. And the bigger one, like I said, is the Medium. So the Medium being an Xbox console exclusive, it's gonna be on Game Pass for PC and for console. So you can check it out there if you're a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber and play that game everywhere. Or if you wanna purchase it on Steam or the Epic Game Store, you'll be able to do that as well. And this is going to come with full RTX and DLSS. I've purchased the game on Steam, even even though I have it for uh, free on Game Pass uh, because I want to be able to play it and test it on GeForce Now. And by buying it through Steam, I'll also be able to have my FPS counter up because Steam is about the only store that has that on GeForce Now that allows me to do some type of FPS in game with cloud like that with GeForce Now. So I do have the medium on Steam. I'll be making a gameplay video on that. Uh, it may already be out by the time you're you're watching this video, but the medium looks really cool. It's a dual, uh, dual worlds being uh, put up at the exact same time, being rendered at the same time. You're kind of like playing two games in one. They left last gen consoles behind because they couldn't handle it but the series s and the series x are going to have the game the medium as an exclusive and we're going to have it on pc and i'm really excited to jump in and see how this game runs on console on pc and on geforce now so it'll be really interesting to check out the medium keep an eye out for those videos coming to the channel really soon i'll be covering it on multiple cloud services pcs and the xbox series x
All right, with that covered, just a reminder, Immortals Phoenix Rising does have the uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising DLC coming out, A New God, January 28th, also the day of this video coming out. So if you have the season pass for Immortals Phoenix Rising, you'll be able to jump in and play um, A New God DLC, and you'll be able to play that on GeForce Now as well, of course, if you have the game there. All right, I think that's pretty much going to wrap us up for this week. GeForce Now News. Definitely keep an eye out next week for what's going to be coming. That big drop, the big list of games for February, and any other announcements they may want to have coming up on their one-year anniversary will most likely be happening next week. So definitely keep an eye out for that video next Thursday. Thanks a lot for coming to check out this video. I think this is a decent list of games for this week, and uh, I really like that GeForce Now is really embracing the GFN Thursday and uh, really getting into just continuing the service the way that they are and i think it's gaining a lot of popularity i know i really enjoy geforce now and i hope you guys enjoy the service as well thanks again for coming to check out the video as always i really appreciate it if you haven't already subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up ring that bell so you know when i drop new videos and leave me your comments down below thanks again and i'll see you guys in the next one